ground for food. Tools to make tools. As far as we know, Hadleans were the first animals to purposely make and fuse tools. They made a sharp tool for chopping off branches. The flakes that came off were sharp and were used for scraping skin. Homo habilis are known for their stone making tools they found by the water and mostly found in Kenya. Homo habilis, also known as the handy human, appeared about two million years ago. This hominid had more skills that lived alongside the last of the Australopithecines. Okay. Um, the brain of the Homo habilis was larger than the Australopithecines at the same time, but the brain of the Homo habilis is half the size of the modern human brain. One of the earliest Homo species, Hablis, used tone, stone tools and may even have been capable, capable of primitive speech. Homo habilis was the size of miles, four foot six. <laughs> the chopper and the biface were the first tools ever made by Homo habilis. They were chipped from a stone called flint. The chopper was used for breaking, breaking open animal bones for nutritious marrow, and the biface, a tool sharpened on two sides, was used for cutting into animal carcasses and scraping the hides. There was a great difference between using tools and manufacturing them. Chimpanzees made select certain items and changed them for use as tools. The humans are the only animals to use one set of tools to make other tools. This pebble tool comes from Old Yuba, George, and Tanzania, East Africa. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the handy man has more of a rounder head than Australopithecus. Their teeth were smaller and their jaws were curved like humans. Compared to humans, Homo habilis are four feet tall and they are walking upright. Habilis lived in the open country. They preferred to camp near lakes. They collected food from the shadows and had drinking water. The climate was warm, but at night there were cool breezes. So they built chapters out of branches that were held in place by stones. Thank <laughs> you.